So guys, so guys, you asked for it, you're gonna receive it. You wanted to know how to use video to brand your clinic, you know, specifically for Facebook, which is what Monica's been doing. So you're about to watch her interview someone from the community for our Global Clinical Trials Facebook fan page, where we're targeting geriatric population which we have been for a long time. She's interviewing someone, nothing to do with clinical research, but everything to do with who we're targeting, which is the geriatric population, which is all about managing your money, planning for retirement. So it hits that angle with them. And we're just posting this on our Facebook fan page. We're not even talking about studies. What do you think about this? How do you think this works? No, I think it's going to work because we're engaging the population that we're looking for and we're actually giving them tips. So it's kind of creating rapport with them and um, building our credibility with the community. It's not just like they think that we are only asking or taking things from them, but we're also giving. So I think it's going to work. We can keep doing this very experiment. Very smart, very smart and keep doing it. And this is an example what you're about to watch of this exact interview again nothing to do with clinical trials but everything to do about targeting our patients that we want through facebook and maybe even running a facebook ad on it if it works so watch it anyone can do this it just takes a little bit of effort thank you monica good thank job thank you dan Hello, Global Clinical Trials community. We are here today with an expert in finance. And today we're going to be talking about um, how to have your, uh, like... Um, your finances set pretty much so when you're retired. Yeah, for your retirement. So we're going to be giving tips today, very important, especially if you have any condition or any illness. So this is very, very important. Uh, so stay tuned, pay attention to the expert. Okay. Um, well, sometimes we don't, like, we, we think that we have enough money saved for our retirement, you know, but in reality, there's not, there's not a lot of plans out there anymore, like, let's say, like pensions or a lot of employ, employers that they offer the 401ks anymore, right? So when we retire, we don't have enough money, and then we get older, and then we become ill. So then what we do is, like, we run, like, a financial need analysis and see what your numbers is, you know, because we're all different, and our needs are different. So we sit down with um, families and we sit down with um, people like you guys and Monica, you know, and say we run their numbers and see if they're, if they're ready for their retirement, pretty much. Okay, so for example, with someone that has a very, um, like, a disease, like, uh, is uh, stopping them or preventing them from working, what can that be? Like, uh, is there any opportunity for them to do this type of... Uh, um, like a financial, you know, programs for them or? Well, let's say if they're like, if they were lucky enough to have like a 401k or, or they have like a pension, you know, we sit, uh, sit them with one of the financial advisors and we make the money, we make a, like a plan, like a portfolio for them. So they have like that money work for them, you know, because a lot of the times there's people out there like in their mid seventies um, with not enough money. They think like a hundred, $100,000 or $200,000 is enough for them, but they're already ill, so that money is gonna go like, you know, out the door, like, you know, taking care of their medical needs. So you guys help them to have more, uh, to use this money wiser, or? Yes, uh, we will guide them and they're like in the best direction, so they could have um, that money work for them pretty much, yes. Oh, okay, well. Uh, so, as you guys see, there is opportunities for everybody to learn how to manage your finance and your uh, money wisely. And uh, I uh, like to introduce <laughs> at the end, Gabriela, and she, uh, uh, we're going to be leaving the information to contact her uh, on, the, um, on the comments. Uh, so, um, I think you guys would like to have a very good conversation with her. Thank you and keep Thank you. 